Hello and welcome to another wig review for the good people at simplywigs.co.uk. I have put on special lipstick and I am rocking the Bowie top because today I am reviewing for you the very cool, very edgy, cooler than me, <laughs> Ray by Renee of Paris in the stunning Melted Marshmallow. I have had my eye on this wig for ages, ages. I didn't think that I was going to be able to carry this one off. I thought, oh, this isn't going to work for me. I'm not quite cool enough. I, and I can't get my natural hair to do anything like this. I've When it was longer, I mean, I couldn't have possibly got it to form a funky wave like this. Um, I've never known this hair on myself. And I thought, there's no way I'm going to make this work. It's been quite extensively reviewed by other people. So I did get a good chance to get a good look at it on lots of different people's face shapes. And I just thought, I'm going to have to get my hands on it to know for sure. And I am more thrilled than I can possibly get across that this one looks good. And I absolutely love this hair. I can't even tell you. It's amazing. So this is, um, it's a short bob. So it's short in the nape and it is short in the nape. Like I think it's less than three inches in the nape here. Still coverage, good coverage because the hair comes right down to that sort of back nape tab, but it's very short here. Um, quite straight in the back. And then as it comes forward, we get more and more of the wave and it is asymmetrical. So on this side, same sort of thing, but it's a bit longer coming in to the front. Oh, I love it. I do. This is so cool. This colour is stunning. This is the Melted Marshmallow. Um, I did do a review of the Night wig from the new Ellen Villa Changes collection in a new colour, which is Candy Blonde Rooted, which is very similar to this very popular Rene of Paris colour. So uh, do check that out uh, if you would like an idea of what the differences and similarities are between those colours. This one is uh, quite cool in most, for most part, it's quite cool toned and it comes into very, very light tips from this longer, fairly dark ombre root. Uh, and as you can see better on this side, then it comes from this dark colour into this mixed goldish beige blonde into these very pale white platinum tips. This is the kind of colour that your hairdresser doesn't want you to ask for <laughs> when you go to the hairdresser because this is a nightmare to get to look right. It would be a nightmare to maintain. These tips would go brassy. You would constantly need to get the roots blended. And on hair this short, keeping it this nice and looking this cool would be a tall order because you would need to get it trimmed quite a lot. So this is kind of, it's not even the hair of dreams. This is the hair of fantasies. You'd have real trouble getting it to look this cool all the time. So I am so pleased with it. It's gorgeous. This curl is incredible. It's almost box fresh. The only thing I did to it was give it a good shake because it is a shake and go. Give it a very good shake. And then I whacked it on my head and I gave it a bit of a spritz with my wig appropriate hairspray. I am going to invest, and I forgot to order it at the same time um, as this wig, in some Jean Renault Peace Out Contour Cream, which I keep seeing and I do want some because I think it's probably the best thing to give this wig um, a bit of style. It, not that it needs any additional style, but you would be able to give it a bit of hold and mould these curls a little bit if you wanted to do that. Um, I can't decide how I like to wear it most, whether I want to tuck it or not at the minute. I can't decide. I think it looks gorgeous tucked. It looks really cool. And if you had lovely earrings, you would really be able to set that off. I reckon I would maybe wear like one dangly earring here now. Uh, and the asymmetry looks really cool. I wouldn't tuck the other side, of course, just this less wavy side. But when you take it out, give it a little shake through, it just pings out rather adorably there and the face. It's just very, very cute. It is um, a lace front, so I will show you that. Um, it's got the problem you kind of, well, the problem that you kind of have with uh, lace fronts in darker colours, which is that you can kind of see these knots. Now, if you wanted to pull this back, certainly you could. Can't see why not. And then you might want to tuck that side. I suppose you could do a bit of, uh, bit of this sort of thing. 
So you could do that. Um, I personally don't find the knots a problem. Some people would, but because of the way that this is styled, you probably wouldn't pull it back harshly enough anyway. You would probably just sort of tuck and pin maybe. So you wouldn't really pull it back so harshly that you'd be showing those knots off in all their glory. But it's a lovely, comfortable lace front. Um, I find René of Paris lace fronts fit me really nicely around the forehead because um, I've got quite a shallow but fairly wide forehead, so I kind of need them to sit but, you know, at least temple to temple. This is lovely, fits really nicely, and it's got good wire in those ear tabs. You can mould it to your temple so it feels very, very stable and secure. And we have absolutely no problem going on a windy day in this one. And, of course, because it is a synthetic style, these waves are going to stay looking beautiful, whatever the weather and whatever the wind is doing out there. So I couldn't get my hair to do this. If I got my natural hair into a wave like this, it would last for three or four minutes before it dropped. And the second the weather did anything at all, second the weather was weather, <laughs> it would knock it all out. So particularly in the hot weather as we're heading into the summer months, this is the sort of style that in my biological hair, I wouldn't even attempt. But in this wig is going to look beautiful um it makes me feel all fun and light and you know like i say a bit cool as well i'm not very cool naturally i've been called many things cool is not one of them this wig makes me feel cool really cool my daughter is eight and she loves this hair she thinks this is amazing and i do need to keep an eye on her because i think it will go missing off the stand and appear on her head <laughs> If I don't keep an eye on it. Uh, I do keep trying to get her to understand that these wigs are, you know, expensive and she needs to not play with them, but she's quite a fan of this one. Um, on that subject of the cost, it's not that expensive. It does have permities. Um, it has, I think it's a mono part. Is it a mono part? Yes. So it's a lace front and it has a lace, not a mono part, sorry, a, la a lace part, I should say. It's not proper mono. Uh, double mono, I mean, it's, it's just lace what you'd expect to see in a no, in a lace front, but in the pattern. I was articulate, wasn't it? Um, so I'll show you that in a minute. I'll turn inside out, if I can bear to take it off, to show you what it looks like along there. Uh, it's really easy to wear, really light, really, really comfortable. It's going to be really good if you've got something glamorous to do in the summer or if you're on holiday. I think that going out in the evening when you're on holiday, this would just look so fantastic. It would really... Um, level up anything you were wearing you know whatever you had it's going to go really well with it but equally it's kind of um you know very wearable day to day like i say just tuck it just sling it on with your jeans and your t-shirt um and you, you're going to look fantastic you're probably not going to make any friends at the school gates looking this good at you know 20 to 9 in the morning but you know, who cares <laughs> that's not the point is it so let's have a little look inside excuse my wig cap a beautiful look so we have here i'm glad i was right about that now i've said it we have here the uh lace front and lace part so you could change the parting up a little bit if you wanted i don't know why you would but you could do if you liked i suppose if you like it just a bit further one way or the other you'd be able to do that um nice lace front as i say and then the rest of it reasonable stretch it's fairly true to average i would say my head's on the small side so i tend to need to tighten it up but to be honest this is fitting quite well so far um and it has the renee of paris bra strap style adjusters in the back there so this is the beautiful ray very very beautiful ray she comes in lots and lots of colors and some really nice blondes i chose this one because I haven't got any that have that kind of ombre blended effect but there's also an ice blonde there's a rose gold there's a creamy toffee ah so that's rooted and that's a bit warmer um color as well so if you're in the market for a blonde wavy funky cool little bob uh don't pass ray up she's uh at a reasonably low price point for a wig of this style and she's got just enough premium features to look fantastic she's got beautiful fibers she's got just what you need here lace part lace front just what you need to make this one you know look fantastic feel fantastic i think this is absolutely stunning and i'm going to put it back on before i sign off here put it back down there back up there check those ear tabs And we can go. Aren't we fantastic? I can't be bothered to style my own hair. Why would I do that? I can just stick this on my head and it looks amazing. 
Amazing. Love it. I'll give you a quick twirl. Right from the front. That's the left hand side. So this is just slightly shorter, slightly less uh, wavy wave. Right from the back, so you can see quite straight in the back. And you get a lovely view of that blended melted marshmallow colour there as well. And from the right, that longer waved side there. I love this hair. Don't everybody buy it because, you know, then we'll all have the same hair. But then again, you know, we'd all look fantastic. So who cares? You do you. I hope you've enjoyed this review of The Lovely Ray by Renee of Paris. If you have any questions about this wig um, or any others, um, or there's any other wig reviews that you'd like to see, uh, then do just drop them in the comments. And I'm sure the good people at Simply Wigs will be very happy to answer any questions you've got. Um, and do like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Bye.